Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we will discuss one more development of lateral surface of the truncated square pyramid. In the previous videos, we have discussed a hexagonal pyramid and square pyramid. If you wish to check those videos, check the description box for a link after watching this problem. A square pyramid of base 35 mm and axis 70 mm long rests on its base on HP such that two adjacent sides of the base are equally inclined to VP. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 30 degree to HP. Passing through the midpoint of the axis, draw the sectional top view and develop the lateral surfaces of the truncated pyramid. So friends, first we have to identify what is the top and front view of a solid. As a square pyramid base is on HP, our top view will be, be a square. What is the position of square? Two adjacent sides. Two adjacent sides of the base must be equally inclined to VP. So start uh, with XY. You can see here this two adjacent sides are equally inclined to VP. It's like a diamond and make sure that our square side is 35 mm. Okay. Now we can give a notations on each and every corner. Extend being a pyramid, we know that we have to connect slant edges OA, OB, OC, OD. Uh, before until the completion of a section plane, always start your simple position in a thin line. As I know the answer, I started the boundary, which means square alone in the uh, thick line. But still, I don't know where exactly this cutting plane is cutting the solid in a front view. After completing the section plane, we can transfer everything into a removed and remaining. So, remaining portion must be converted into thick lines. So extend the vertical projectors from each and every corner. The height of the axis is 70 mm. Still OB, OD is the slantage exactly on the axis. We can make it as a continuous thin line. ABC is visible. D corner is invisible from here. D dash in the bracket. Now, if you refer this uh, midpoint, midpoint of the axis is 35. From 70, 35. Through that point, draw a section plane for the inclination of 30 degree. Draw a section plane, which means continuous thick line followed by dot and a dash. The top is the removed and bottom is the remaining portion of the solid. So the remaining portion of solid into thick lines. Now we can identify the cutting points of section plane. O dash, A dash, this is where the first cutting point of section plane. Make it as one dash. If you extend a vertical projector where it is meeting corresponding slantage is OA. Make it as 1. This is the second cutting point of section plane. Till it is uh, perpendicular to XY. So this O dash B dash to outermost slantage O dash A dash. Then you can draw a perpendicular projector. Now you take O as center this point as radius. Draw an arc to cut OB slantage. This is point number 2. Third cutting point of section plane, make it as 3 dash. Draw a vertical projector to cut corresponding slantage OC, make it as 3. Again, last slantage is OD. Already we identified this point. Make this point O as center. This vertical projector meeting point as radius. Draw an arc to fix so D dash is invisible from here that's why 4 dash is marked or uh, represented in the bracket. Now 1, 2, 3, 4 can be joined by means of continuous thick lines and do a hatching. Okay, do a hatching. Before that we can shift the remaining portion of the solid into thick lines. What is the remaining portion if you see from here 1 dash to A dash, 2 dash to B dash, 3 dash to C dash. O dash to D dash. So I transferred 1, a, 1 to A thick line, 2 to B, 3 to C, 4 to D as a thick line and do a hatching. This is our complete sectional top view. 
now radial line development the first step you have to check is whether any of these slantage any one of these slantages is parallel to xy yes here we are having oa as well as oc two slantages are parallel to xy for us one is more than sufficient so if any of the slantages is parallel to xy we can take true length of slantage straight away o dash c dash or o dash a dash this is the true length of slantage in case our slantages none of the slantages are parallel to xy means we have to make any one of the slantages as parallel to xy we have discussed such a problem as hexagonal pyramid development then you can check that video later on after watching this video okay now the true length of slantage we can take straight away since uh, oa oc slantages are parallel to xy take o any point on this space and radius is you can measure the distance of o dash to c dash or o dash to a dash any point both outermost slantages are equal so you can measure o dash a dash or o dash c dash as radius draw an arc now fix any point on this arc connect as slantage o a o a this is the true length of slantage here o dash a dash or o dash c dash is the distance now what is the side 35 mm you can take 35 as radius this a point as center draw an arc b then c this is 35 another 35 for fixing c d again a so the distance between each and every side of base is 35 as a square pyramid after connecting all these slant edges oa ob oc O D O A. Now we can transfer this cutting points of section plane in the development. O dash to one dash. This is O dash to one dash. This point as center. This one dash as radius. O as center. The same distance as radius to cut O A. Make it as one. Here also O A. You can make it as one. Next cutting point of section plane, even though we have chosen this O dash A dash as the true length of slantage, now we have to shift this 2 dash to the outermost slantage. 2 dash to the outermost slantage, this is the condition of development. You have to transfer all the intermediate slantages to the outermost slantages, 2 dash. Now you measure the distance of O dash to this 2 1 dash. Then 2 1 dash is on the slantage OB. On OB you can fix 2 from O as center. This 2 1 dash as radius not 2 dash. Okay. Next is 3 dash. O dash as center. This 3 dash as radius. Fix point number 3. Now, uh, to minimize our one more step, 2 dash as well as 4 dash lies on the same point. You can use this same radius, O dash to 2, 1 dash as radius, complete 4, then you can switch over to point 3. So, this O dash to 3 dash as center, radius, O as center, O dash to 3 dash as radius, complete 3. Now, you can join all the points a b b c c d d a base then a to 1 1 to 4 4 to 3 3 to 2 2 to 1 and 1 to a these are the remaining portion of the solid convert into thick lines if you have any doubt you can refer the front and top view 1 dash to a dash is remaining portion of solid corresponding 1 to a in the top view 2 to B, 3 to C, 4 to D. That's why the intermediate remaining portion of the solid plant edges are converted into thick lines. This is the development of lateral surface of truncated square pyramid. Here one step for us it is minimized. We are having two slant edges as parallel to XY. 
if none of these slant edges are parallel to xy always keep it in your mind you have to shift any one of these slant edges as parallel to xy if you wish to check that kind of problem check the hexagonal pyramid development problem in the description box for a link or check the channel playlist for that kind of problem and also you can check uh, pentagonal pyramid in pentagonal pyramid also none of these slant edges are parallel to xy we made parallel to xy then we used to identify the true length of slant edge okay friends if you have any queries any doubts in this question or any doubt in development of lateral surface you can put it in a comment box i will always answer to your queries and if you like this video share the same with your friends thank you